morning everybody today we are going to install a 22 kilowatt zappy um what else can i tell you we're putting in a six mil five core with a separate um external duct grade cat 5e for the uh, cts three cts i need two cores each okay so that'll give us enough cores and um quite a quite a nice one i've worked here before um, we're allowed to film so we'll get on, we'll show you the way. We've got a... I'm just doing this little intro so I don't forget to tell you anything. We're doing, we've got a 32 amp three phase um, breaker to go in. Um, that will give us over current protection. And then the Zap has got RCD protection um, and pen fault detection, which is good. It's all built in. I picked up a new EV um, QTEC adapter so we can test the charger uh massive shout out to jordan artisan um really helpful if i if i ever need anything he always answers the phone most people don't answer the phone but jordan answers the phone and uh, he's really helpful when it comes to um, ev stuff and also who else replenish awesome awesome company i got the ev charger from it was just not an ad it's just a really helpful guy he helped me out and he he got me the charger here the next day so Let's go and get James and we'll crack on. So James, here we are. Are you excited? I am. I want you to be excited, James. So, do you want to replicate where that's going for me, mate? So we've got a Zappy, 22 kilowatt, as I said before. He's going on the side of the building and it fits between those two. So that's a James height, so <laughs> that's too high. I think it's about 1.2, I think. We'll check the, we'll check the reg and the measurement for it, but the zap is going there. We're then running in this six mil with this separate duct grade Cat 5E. It's gonna run down here, down here. I won't bore you too much. We've just done a bit of gardening actually. Um, so what we're gonna do is fix to this brick line course under here, around here, side of the building. And then we've just shifted all this stuff. It's gonna come around here. We're gonna take these slabs up, go under the slabs, back up and along. We've just flattened all this. And then the mains panel um, is in here. So mains board is on the wall here. That's the next unit. This is where this unit finishes, okay? Right, we've got our six mil five core and our Cat 5E cable set up. And hopefully it's gonna run lovely on these runners, James. As long as the conduit doesn't come flying out. It's happened to me before. The oh, conduit will come and it'll go boom. <laughs> I'll keep an eye on it, mate. You running down. I'll do the easy bit, James. Alright. Watch the stingers, mate. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, hold on. Yeah, go on. That easier? I'll give him hand, shall I? Pardon? Right, James, I'll have to come up to that corner now and then I'll pull loop. I'll pull from here. Yeah. What's up? I'll, I'll pull. You go down. You start taking that. Down there. Yeah, take that end for there, mate. Actually, we're going to have to go behind that drain pipe, aren't we? Yeah. Behind that one, then, mate. There's no more, is there? No, that's good. Right. Keep going. Keep going. Right. Go. Just pull it to that um, the end, and then we'll feather it in after. Yeah. We'll get the hole drilled in a minute. Go in. Hey, yeah. keep going, mate, because I, I can gauge how much we got left on the drum. Don't get, don't go in there though. Don't just pull a little bit of a loop, yeah. Yeah. Please. Yeah, that'll do. Right, we'll um, we'll go in now and we'll drill that hole, mate. 
So what I'm going to get James to do now is, is we're going to go on this brick course here. Um, on this corner, we will have to chisel out a little bit to get the bend radius on here, but we'll show you that when we do it. So what we're going to do, James, we're going to go, so say one here, start from here, yeah. one, and then I want the, it looks better with the loop at the bottom, but I suppose you're meant to sit on the screw, but we'll have it with the cleat, the screw in and then the cleat going up and over, yeah? So the cable sat on the screw, yeah. and then go every one, two, so go there, look. So two bricks in, two bricks in, yeah? Sure. Do that all the way along, get you a kneeler and we'll get you the um, drill. Right, we set James up. And did I drill that deep enough, mate? Mm. Let's have a look. Maybe not. Maybe. Let's have a look. Probably Pass us the hammer. If that goes in. Yeah. Yeah? About, yeah. Perfect. Perfect. <laughs> Just about perfect, that's, that's a good statement. So yeah, every, so go there, mate. Yep. You know what you're doing. I'm going to go and look at the mains board. Okay, so this is the end of the building where we pulled that cable to out here. Here's our mains incomer. Here's our board. We're going to be fitting a three phase breaker in there. Um, yeah, not the not the best, but they never are. And we're going to put our CTs on here. So we'll end up putting a whisker box here, bringing the data cable in and um, putting our CTs on the mains. Um, it's either before or after the meter. I'll check what the spec says, and then we'll just fit our bit of breaker in here. But I'm going to have to get a whole route in here now for here. I've drilled my hole out down on the angle. I'm going to go and find it now um, outside. Right, so that hole is no good. It is. It's down there. There's my drill bit behind this down pipe. So we're going to have to probably come a foot in. Because I want to come about here on the brick core. So I'll come a foot further in, drill another hole in the metal, drill it out, and then we'll have to just run it. Um, could actually drill on the end. No, 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 it's a bit too hard. Then we'll have to just cleat it on that metal around and in. <laughs> Let's ask you a question, James. Give me one useless piece of information about yourself. About myself? That everyone doesn't want to know. How tall are you? Six, four. Six, four. Okay, we're measuring in a minute. <laughs> I think so. Six, four. With his high heels on at the weekend, he's about six, five. <laughs> so there's my new hole look I managed to get it out through that little brick course there I've had to redrill another hole in the metal which I will show you in a minute so I'm going to come out here now I didn't want to blow this brick out and I'm going to um, I'm going to open this out and and drill back back entry basically so he's, he's now changed his mind what what do you want to tell us I did an IQ test yeah yesterday uh-huh and I got 121. 121? Which is above average, apparently. Is it? Apparently. I thought you was quite intelligent, mate. Yeah, I've been waiting for you to come out with these uh, witty comments, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> it'll come, James, it'll come. <laughs> he keeps playing with his dinging nettles. Right, there's our mains cable coming in. We're now going to get the Cat 5 through this hole, apparently. Right, hold on, mate, it was there. Pull it back again. Right, aim it to the your right. Push. Right, it's gone too far back. Gone too far, mate. Push it in again gently. I can't see where you are. Right. Where are you now? Pull it out, straighten it up and follow the cable, mate. If you can. Whoa, hold it there, hold it there. Push. Yeah, go on. Yeah, that's why you need two of you, see? Hold on, mate, keep going. Should be about the same length as that armoured, mate. That's perfect, mate, yeah. Well, I'll come back out. Right, 
right, there you go. Cable's cleated in um, as far as we can go. All the way along, back to the distribution board, all the way along here. We're then gonna run him along and down. We're gonna take up these two slabs, dig a little tiny trench, bring him back up, and then carry on cleating around the corner. Right, there you go, as you've just seen, we've gone we've gone down and under the step. What James is going to do now is work his way back that way, cable tying the Cat5e to the armoured. He knows, I've just told him what to do. I'll then carry this on, swoop him up, and then carry on, um, carry on round the corner. And it's just started to rain, which is, which is actually quite refreshing, James, isn't it? Right, I've got one more to go in, cleated all the way along. James is now, James is now following me along with the um, cable ties. He's cable tying the Cat5e cable to the armoured. Isn't that right, James? I am. He is. I'm going to show you around here. It loops under the path and comes back up. And then the He's, keep it nice and uniform. He's just cable tying the cable to the armoured there. And the heavens have opened, James. Yeah. So I'm going to start, I'm going to bolt this um, zappy to the wall now, my energy. And they give you this little cardboard cutout, which is pretty nice. And then on the board it says 1.2. You've got to fix it between 1.2 and 1.4 to the top of the unit. So roughly roughly something like that and then they give you the um, fixing so what I'll do is I'll um, I've got some metal self tappers I'll just um, I'll drill them out with a little three mil and then I can just fire the screw straight in with the impact and then they got the self sealing uh, seal on them so but obviously I will set you up on the laps so there is 1.2 there's 1.4. I think we're going to go at 1.4 because 1.2 looks redonkulously low for the socket, which is going to be about there. Okay, and then you can see the screen on the zappy. So we're going to go up there and I'm going to mark these through, pre drill them, and then I'll be able to bolt the unit to the wall. Okay, there's the screws I'm using. And then they got the south sealing washer that sits up there and just pfft, squashes on.
Okay, bits to show you. Cable loops round, and we got this lip on this building. Look here. I didn't want to cut this in case the client wants this ripping out at some stage. If he moves the unit, whatever. Um, so we haven't knackered the fabric of the building up. Comes up with the cable cable tied on him, and then we've got a storm gland. Um, they're a bit better. They're more expensive, but for me, Nick showed me these. Um, I like these storm glands, awesome, so use those. And then just a normal stuffing gland for the for the Cat5. So, comes up into here now, I'm just gonna run a flyleaf. Didn't wanna drill another hole to put any more holes in this box, basically, because if you read the booklet, you're only meant to use the holes provided and draw your own holes and put glands in where necessary. So I'm not gonna put a lead through, I'm gonna put a um, banjo on there. You could have used the piranha nut or whatever, but I've got that. So I bend him up, put a, so I haven't got a drill through, so I'll put another nut and bolt on there, earth him down. We're going to connect this up now, as per manufacturer's instructions. We're then going to go into the uh, board end and do that end. Right, if you've just watched the time lapse, you've seen I've left a bit of length on these, curled them up. There's our fly lead off of our banjo. Here's our three cables. We've got spare blue, which we've just left in the back. They go to the CT1. That one needs pushing up a bit. One, two, and three. We're going to then replicate that inside, which will bring you in. We're now just going to torque these down to 1.2 newton meters. One, two, three, four. Five. So we can now um, put the ribbon cable back on, shut this up for now, and go inside. So here comes the armoured. I've left enough room off that metal so it's not cutting into the cable at all, hence the little loop. Comes around, comes around, cleats around, comes up. I've just drilled a hole in there, and that's OP0, isn't it? Um, I'll banjo him in there. I'm going to get James to get me the file to file that flat. This is a very safe board. Um, um, it's on because clients still work in here, but you, you, you can't get a shock off this board. Um, I mean, even the neutral bars are shielded. Look, really nice board, actually. Um, so we're going to be going up here, L1, L2, and L3, with our three-phase breaker. We'll gland them in here, we'll set you up, and then we'll get it done.
So there we go, mains cables landed in, banjoed in, scraped off with, scraped off with the um, file. CTs are on the mains, facing towards a consumer unit. I've put a whisker box there, just clipped and made them neat. And then this is my uh, picture I took at the Zappi, just to replicate, you have to get the plus and the minus around the right way, as they won't work properly. So um, just remember what you did this end on this cable and replicate it on the red and the black this end. And we're just gonna literally connect this in. Right, there we go, we're all back together. Look, EV charger there. We've marked up the cable, EV charger. We've marked up the CTs. We've marked up the isolator and the pump there, yeah. <laughs> Cleated in, hoovered up, we're gonna go outside and do some testing. <laughs> Pump. Right, she's on. He or she is on. There we go, lights up. So it says EV disconnected. Yada yada, nothing yet. We'll have to set the date up and the time. And then it also shows you grid pool, look, okay? And obviously if you was if you were having solar solar energy here this would be putting solar energy into it then it also shows you what you'd be pulling for solar so it's, it's pretty clever but i mean we'll go we'll go through the menu in a minute and um set it up we're just going to do some testing first on it and i forgot to say that i picked up the client a lead which is a rolex lead and i think i got the five meter 32 app because this is going to be cleared and then uh, the car will just back into this space and it will charge um, via the lead here, pretty much. So we'll get on with some testing now. We've just been having a play with this. We've labeled up the isolator. Basically what it is, we've been having a play with this um, test box here. You've got the pre-test here and then you've got, if we set the Zappi to, we'll change that code. Um, fast charge okay we set it to fast charge and then you can simulate um, can simulate a car basically plugged into the charger here and then you can simulate errors okay so if we simulate an error there there you go RCD checking and it comes back to charging and then we can do a neutral fault it will turn the charger off effectively um, and it won't let it charge until that's reinstated yeah okay pretty cool um, but yeah just uh, with you obviously your cable go through your manufacturers instructions um, and we're pretty much done on this one